show was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today is so, so exciting because The Sims Game Changers get to share the content that they've recorded with the new pack or just the content that they've made with the new pack, whatever they do as the Game Changer, I'm not sure. There are so many different Game Changers in this community. So oh, for example, the streamers get to stream with the new pack today as well, but I decided to build a house. I know, surprise, <laughs> anyways. So. So that is what we're doing today. This took me so freaking long. I have not slept. Well, I've, I've slept a little bit, but not like a proper amount. <laughs> so I'm a little bit tired. I was just really, I really wanted to finish this yesterday. It took me from maybe like 7.30 in the evening to a quarter past four in the morning to do this house or to build this house. And then I've just been recording or not recording. I have been editing basically all day. So it did take me a while to make this video, but I hope that you guys like it. I kind of like how it turned out. It's a little bit weird. I, I will admit to that. Like it's it's a contemporary house, but I decided to go for something else than I did at EA Play because I built two shacks at EA Play, so I really just wanted to try to go in a different direction for this house. Or at least like one of the houses I built at EA Play was a shack and the other one was kind of like a trailer shaped shack. <laughs> I don't fully really know. But anyways, so I really wanted to try to go in a different direction with this house. And I ended up building it on a 40 by 30. This is probably one of my favorite lots in the world, by the way. It is so pretty and it's kind of like, it's a little bit isolated from the rest of the houses because it's on the tip of the island, basically. So if you look at the, um, if you look at the view from the pool, for example, it's basically just ocean and it's so, so pretty. So it's definitely one of my favorite lots in Solani. And yeah, I hope you guys will like it. I hope you can see the surroundings a little bit as well because everything is so freaking beautiful in this world. Like I am in awe. It's so freaking beautiful. You should see the sunsets. They're amazing. I think I may show you guys a little bit of a sunset while I'm building because from the parents' room on the third floor, yes, we are building a three-story house today, which I have never done before, I don't think. Maybe once, not on purpose, <laughs> but yeah. So we're building a three-story home today and the parents' room is on the th th third floor. So from their room, you can see the sunset and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And I can't wait for the rest of you guys to see this pack as well, experience everything and go snorkeling with your sims as well. Use the jet skis or the aqua sips, whatever you want to call them. It is just, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. So this house was inspired by an amazingly beautiful build that I saw on Pinterest. I've had it saved in my folders or on one of my boards for the longest time. It's this really really beautiful house and i'm sure that some of you guys can recognize it if i still have it saved i'll try to link it in the description down below but it's just it's this very very beautiful contemporary house and once i saw the stilled foundation when i was at ea play i just thought like i, I just reminded or i was reminded of the house because i thought maybe it's actually possible to build it because it's not the most buildable house the shape is a little bit weird. There are some differences in levels that we can't actually do in The Sims, but I really tried to do it justice. That said, it's only the back of the build, so the bit that I started building on that's inspired by the house. The front here is, you know, I'm just winging the front of the build and also the sides of the build. I did have to make a lot of modifications to the house as well because like I said, it's not very buildable. So I think if I had to build it as close as possible to the original, I would would have to make this a four-story house and I'm not ready for that so I decided to cut out the entire fourth floor basically but I like how it turned out it's just a little bit it's a little bit weird I'll admit to that like there's a lot of stuff going on with the shape of this house but I had so much fun with it and I did make a lot of modifications in the color scheme of the house as well because I was I did like I tried to go for just white to begin with because I thought it would look really good with the sand and the water and it would just look kind of like a very contemporary basically but then 
I don't really like white in the sense that much either because of the lighting. As you can see on the top, like on the roof of the house right now, that's supposed to be white, but it's actually not. It's kind of like beige <laughs> a little bit. So I was kind of struggling with that and I don't like it. If it has to be white, it has to be like white, white. It can't just be beige. So I decided to change it. I added a lot of grays here and there. I added a little bit of black here and there as well. And I added so many plants around the house, like on the walls as well. I changed the color of the window or the glass as well. So it's kind of like teal tinted a little bit because I think that goes really well with these surroundings. Like it kind of matches the water a little bit. So I did that as well and basically just decorated the whole place as well. So I really hope you guys like it. I had a lot of fun building this house. It is a little bit weird. I've said that like four times by now, but I, uh, it's, yeah, it's a little bit different from my other or from the other contemporary houses that I've done in the past couple of months. So I am a little bit nervous to share it with you guys, but I hope that you guys like it. So despite it being a contemporary house, we are actually using a lot of the stuff from the new pack for the interior because I felt like when I was going through all the different items, when I was going through the Build By catalog at EA Play, when I was recording my overview video, I kind of felt like a lot of it would fit into a contemporary kind of interior. So it's like tropical contemporary, is that a thing? Is it even the right word to use? Like tropical, does that fit these around? Because whenever I see palm trees, I'm like, yep, that's tropical, but I could be mistaken because I'm uncultured when it comes to that kind of stuff. So <laughs> let me know if you can still call these surroundings tropical or this environment tropical. But I definitely feel like the interior is a little bit special, but I had so much fun with it. And I do feel like it fits the, the exterior of the house fairly well because I did add a lot of like brown uh, flooring at least. And then a lot of the plants on the exterior as well. So they kind of go together in that way, but I'll let you guys decide for yourselves if you like it or not, because it is, it is a little bit different. But like I said, I had a lot of fun with it though. It's kind of like, it's kind of got like tropical mansion kind of vibes, if that makes sense. <laughs> so you'll see once we get to the interior. I did spend a lot of time on the exterior before I could even start the interior. So it'll take a while before we get there, but you'll see me adding all these small details here and there on the house. We haven't even started changing the wallpaper color yet. And the, the windows are still clear. They're not tinted blue or anything. So it'll take a while before we get to the interior, but suddenly you'll see me changing quite a lot of things with the exterior and hopefully it starts coming together a little bit because right now it's just kind of like it's it's a little bit bland but I don't know the original house just looked so pretty when it was just like white and black but I don't know why it wasn't really working for me in game or I know why because the white color doesn't really look white but it's just kind of it's a shame that the white doesn't really look like proper probably white proper white and it's not just my reshade because I have tested it without reshade so I don't fully know why the white on the roof has to look beige, but whatever, I'm gonna stop being annoyed by it now. So I did end up changing the windows down here on the ground floor. I also had to move some of the walls as well because these are actually three tiles. So I did have to change the wall height on the bottom floor and also on the very top floor to the medium wall height. I never use medium wall height. I never use tall walls either. I only use the shortest height, but it was kind of, it made sense to change it. Like once I did, it looked right. So I was really happy about that. And then once I changed the wall height, I was like, maybe I should try to use some of the windows that I don't normally use or that I can't normally use because I never use this wall height. So I used these ones from, where are they from? City Living, I think, yeah. And they come in this kind of like teal tinted glass as well. So they go really well with the base game windows that I'm using in the vast majority of places on this house. I'm also using the ones from Spa Day on the pool, but those ones don't come in tall walls or medium wall heights, unfortunately, so you can only use them on short walls, which is a shame, which is a shame. <laughs> that was a little bit difficult to say, because it would be nice to have those in the medium wall height at least. I think medium wall heights and short walls are probably the most commonly used wall heights, so it would, it would make sense. It would be nice to have you know, those windows in a, 
like for, for so we have more choices does that make sense so unfortunately not today but maybe it'll come eventually i don't think so but anyways so i decided to for those windows you can see them right here on the pool i really yeah it's kind of like an infinity pool a little bit i like it it's a little bit different so you can actually both see through the glass to the um like you can see the ocean if you're swimming in the pool you can also see through the pool to the interior because I did add the glass inserts as you can see on the bottom of the pool and there was also windows to some of the bedrooms on the second floor just to add a little bit of more a little bit more light into the bedrooms because you'll see that once we get to the interior actually the blue stained windows kind of stop the light from coming into the house a little bit so I decided to add some extra windows here and there because I knew that was going to happen and it's still a little bit dark in there, but I think it still works as well. But I'll let you guys be the judge of that too. Um, you know, we all have different opinions, but I just had a lot of fun with the pool there in the middle of the of the house, basically. So I added a lot of glass inserts and windows and all that stuff. So that pool is basically visible from anywhere in the house. But, and they also have another pool over here on the, this is technically the right side of the house if you look at it from the front, but I started building it from the back, which is very unusual for me but that's the only angle I had of the original house, so I kind of had to start from the back. So to me, this is the left side of the house, but it is actually the right side of the house. But I decided to add a pool over here as well, because it's a big house, so they can easily have two pools. And as you saw just before, that's what I started doing, like adding plants to the house. Sorry, I just nudged my table. Anyways, and then I kind of framed them up with the columns that come with get together and also the white base game shelf that we got a couple of updates ago or was it the last one I don't well the last one was the one yesterday so I suppose it was the one before that don't fully know but I'm so happy we got that shelf because I have been missing that one in white I don't think I have ever used the white one for exteriors but it was about time so there you go and then I kind of like framed it up a little bit, added a little bit more detail by adding the white shelf as well. And I like how that looks. It looks a little bit different. So they have plants like growing here and there, or maybe they place them themselves, probably. <laughs> like why would you suddenly have plants growing on a contemporary, pro probably newly built house? That wouldn't make much sense. I actually get the funniest comments sometimes. I don't want to sit here and bash comments because I don't like to do that in my videos. But I get the funniest comments sometimes, like, I remember, like, two years ago, well, not two years ago, I wasn't doing YouTube two years ago, <laughs> anyways, I remember, like, a year ago, let's just say a year ago, I was building this kind of, like, Tudor house, and it had a lot of vine on it, and I remember someone was like, that vine looks so unrealistic, it's just growing out of nowhere, and I'm like, this is a game. If I want to put vine in the middle of the house, I can do it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually grow. Like, it's just decor. So I, I get a lot of comments like that. They're quite funny to me, but sometimes I like to think realistically when it comes to building, when it comes to my houses. Um, sometimes not so much. So this is probably one of those cases where I just kind of want to add a lot of detail here and there and not think too much about what's realistic and what's not realistic. So I was just kind of giving myself free reigns basically. The small terrace that you can see down there, it's not really the most lit up terrace considering you can barely see anything from it, but that's for the children's room. So I actually forgot to say this at the start of the video. I don't remember how many bathrooms is in this house. There's a lot. But for bedrooms, we got the parents' bedroom on the third floor, there's a teen's bedroom on the second floor, and there's another bedroom that is for the two kids, because they share a bedroom, they're twins, and then we also have a fourth bedroom, which is for a butler, because I figured with a house this big, like a three-story home, I know that the third floor, as you can see right here, is very small, but I still felt like they would have a butler. It's just kind of... I was actually really close to giving this lot the, what's it called, celebrity house or celebrity residential, I don't fully know what it's called, or res I d residence, celebrity residence, I don't remember what that trade is called, but the one that basically makes this house for celebrities, so if you're not a celebrity, you feel a little bit uncomfortable living in this house, um, but I decided against it because it's a little bit, it's a little bit weird, but I could totally imagine like, 
a celebrity kind of having this house, like an extra house at the Solani beach or whatever, and then they have their main house somewhere else in Del Sol Valley, probably. So I don't know, I just kind of felt like it was that kind of house a little bit. So I don't know who, um, I don't know what they do or anything. I did not make a background story for the family, but I kind of feel like they could be celebrities of some sort, you know? But let me know what you think about that. So that's why I put a butler's bedroom here as well. So they do have room for a butler. However, you can use that room for any other sim if you want to. It's not like, it's not plain or <laughs> how do you say that? It looks like the other bedrooms, but in my mind, it's for a butler basically. But you can use it for just about anyone if you want to. So um, yeah. So the three person couch right here, the one at the back that you can see was basically the main reason why I thought that this kind of furniture would fit into a contemporary house. I do realize that both the table, I mean the coffee table and also the side tables are a little bit more on the rustic side, but I still feel like it kind of works in this interior. I don't know, it could just be my opinion. As you can see, you can see from the pool down into the living room. I think that is really, really cool. I will just warn you guys, I am gonna be overusing those glass inserts like crazy. You will not be seeing any builds from me for the next couple of weeks without the glass inserts because I love them. I think they are genius. And the best thing is you can size them up and size them down and they still work. So they don't work like windows do. They don't work like uh, mirrors do either because you can't size those up or down. The, the glass inserts work. They, they yeah. I just love them. I can't put it into words. So I'm super, super excited about that item and can't wait to use them more. And uh, yeah, we're basically, the whole like common area is here. They also have a gym, a home gym. Again, it was kind of like the celebrity lifestyle kind of thinking. I figured if they had to go on like vacation to their Solani beach house, um, they would kind of need like a home gym to stay in shape while they're gone from work. So I decided to give them one of those. Also because the room that I put it in barely had any windows. So I figured you'd, you'd not want to have like an office there or a bedroom or anything like that so I went for a home gym instead I suppose you could have put like a home cinema in there but it wasn't really it's not the biggest room either but I suppose you could do that as well if you want to however they have a huge TV here in the living room so I don't know why they would want a home cinema as well like it doesn't really makes sense to me, but you're totally allowed to change it up if you want to, if you end up downloading this house on Friday when the game comes out. And other than the home gym and then these three areas, so the kitchen, the dining area, and also the living area or the TV area, they also have an office here on the ground floor. And then I think they have like three bathrooms. One of them has laundry in them, possibly two. I think just one of them though has the laundry in it. And I think it's the one that has, where the door is very close to the front entrance to the house. Cause I ended up putting a very big bathroom that is right at the front entrance to the house. And then there's another bathroom that's, um, you can access it if you walk through the gym, because in my mind it makes sense to have like a shower connected to the gym so you don't have to walk through the whole house and being all sweaty and stuff after working out. I don't know, rich people. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> and then they also have another bathroom right here um, that you can enter. It's right, you can see it back right now, that you can enter through the dining area. So they have three bathrooms here on the ground floor. I don't remember the second floor. I know that the butler has their own bathroom. And then I think there are two other bathrooms that are accessible for the rest of the family. So there's no bathroom on the third floor where the parents live because I just could not fit it in. The floor plan in this house was really difficult because there's a lot of random shapes to the house. So I was struggling a little bit with that. So they don't have their own ensuite, unfortunately. But again, you're completely allowed to make any modifications to this house if you want to. So if you can find a way to fit in a bathroom on the third floor, please do. <laughs> so I just couldn't figure it out because of the way that the doors were and also the way that like there's a long narrow room on the sec third floor. Sorry. I'm not used to saying third floor because I don't ever build with third floors. Anyways, <laughs> so there's a long narrow room up there and it was just kind of a struggle to 
figure out where to put a bathroom, so I just kind of scrapped it. But um, hopefully the family doesn't mind too much. The teen has a huge terrace to themselves. They have the pool on the side of the house, but the parents on the third floor do have very easy access to the main pool of the house, so the one that's in the middle of the whole house. So I figured it would be okay for the teen to kind of have their own private space. So um, they have uh, a little bit of extra luxury there on the right side of the house. I would not mind that at all. Plus they have a really nice view of the sunset as well. I am slightly jealous, but <laughs> anyways, I should remind myself I'm ginger. I don't do well with the sun, so it wouldn't really make sense for me to even live here, <laughs> but you know. Anyways, so this is the office in this house. It's very, again, very narrow here. I think this is like three tiles total wide. So it was a little bit of an issue trying to figure out what to put in here, but then I figured because the view is so nice from these windows, why not just put this small lounge area over here so they can sit there and read a book or just sit there and talk together or something like that while they can look over the ocean and just enjoy the view. So I decided to put a lounge area here, but they also have the family computer as well in this room and I think I put yeah two bookcases and that should be about it. A lot of plants, a lot of decor. I also tried my best to clutter it up as much as possible. However, I had to keep in mind that I didn't have all night to do this house and I haven't been able to work on it today either and also because it's so big and I had to fit it into one video I couldn't just sit here and just completely take my time with each room so it's not the most cluttered house but I did really try to add clutter where I felt like it would be natural and I did include the home gym as well oh I forgot the parents have two um, yoga mats on their terrace their terrace is a lot smaller than the teens terrace which is you know a little bit weird but like I said before they do have easy access to the big pool in the middle of the house and I don't I love the floaties as well are those called floaties the ones you put on pools and you can lie on them and like sunbathe and stuff. I don't fully know what those are called, but I love them so much. It's so relaxing to just sit back and look at your sim like floating on the pool and just like, cause it moves a little bit. It's like, it's like they're moving with the current, even though it's a pool, there should be no current, but I still kind of like it. It's just really soothing to me. So I was doing that for maybe like two minutes as well <laughs> while building this house. I don't know, it just looked really nice. My sim got a nice tan on as well, so there is that. She didn't get sunburned, she got a nice tan, good for her. And now we're moving on to the teens room. So I made sure to put one of each bed in the different bedrooms. I put two in the children's bedroom, but anyways, because we got four new beds, um, we got two double beds and then two single beds and no toddler beds, which was another factor to why I did not decide to make a toddler bedroom in this house and I turned it into a butler's bedroom instead. You can have another teen living in there if you want or a young adult. Like I said before, you can have whoever living in there. It's not like it's specifically for a butler. It's just, I kind of imagined a butler too. Be in this house but if it's a vacation home maybe they wouldn't have a maybe they take their butler from their main house and bring them to the vacation house i don't fully know how that works how do you do can you move a butler from house to house i've never had a butler how would i know <laughs> anyways but you can also just you can't have multiple houses in the sims anyways so it wouldn't really work like that it's just in my mind this is kind of like their luxury vacation home where they go basically every weekend or maybe the parents are having issues so one of them is kind of flees to this house sometimes to get away from the other parent. That could be kind of fun. <laughs> Add some drama in the household or something. So they spend most of their time at the Solani beach house and the other one spends their time in Del Sol Valley and they're kind of not really talking. They're not working out their issues and whenever they see each other they just fight. So they're like no, I'll just stay at the Solani Beach house and you'll sort yourself out in Del Sol Valley. It's completely fine. I don't know. Anyways, adding some drama to the household that we don't even have. I'm not going to make the family for this house either, but in my mind I have a whole story for them now. <laughs> Anyways, just quick flashback to like 10 minutes ago when I said that I have no idea about what kind of family lived in this house. Now I'm like, oh yeah, they got big drama, so... I don't know what that's about. Anyways, moving on. So I did include this hallway just because of these pictures actually because I did later on put a camera that we got with this pack in the office as well. So I suppose one of the Sims living in this house likes to take pictures. They do have the opportunity like right in their 
backyard, <laughs> back beach. I don't know. There is this kind of like snorkeling post in the waters behind their house. So they can go there and I think they can bring the camera and take pictures of dolphins and like coral, coral reefs. Is that how you say that? Coral reefs? There's a lot to look at in the waters behind their house. So I figured one of them would be kind of into that. So I decided to put the camera in the office on the ground floor. And then also the pictures, like I said before, here on the second floor to kind of like signify that one of them likes to do that. I suppose the team could be really into photography, photographing, <laughs> photography, um, and had taken those pictures and hung them up in the hallway here. I just think that would be kind of cute. Add a little bit of like a family element to it or something like that. Plus the pictures are really, really just, they're so pretty as well. I really like all the blue. I like the dolphins. Wait until you see the dolphins. They are freaking adorable. When I saw them at EA Play, I actually was freaking out. I did record it. I, well, not me freaking out, but I recorded the dolphin, but I have not done anything with that footage and I'm not sure that I'm going to. Um, I'm not really the biggest game player here on the channel. I do want to start a Let's Play though. I have talked about that before, but I decided not to do anything with the dolphin footage that I, that I had and also the mermaid footage that I had. Um, I will be doing a cast overview though. That's because <laughs> you guys have been requesting it on the last video, so I will be doing that. But for gameplay, I don't fully know just yet. I know that a lot of other simmers are going to do Let's Plays based on Island Living and I totally get that. I also want to explore some of that myself but it'll probably just be personal gameplay but um or the challenge that I want to start we can actually start it here in Solani it is possible I did check so I may do that so we may see a little bit of the gameplay in that way possibly don't fully know but I'm excited for it either way but this is the butler's bedroom I know we're already done with it but I just wanted to point it out that was the butler's bedroom so it does look like the other bedrooms I did not try to make it look shabby or anything the only difference is that I used a lot less color in there so it's black and white whereas the other rooms are very colorful I think I went for blue and orange in the other house or in the other rooms I I think. Uh, for the parents bedroom it might be a little bit more toned down but the teens room and also the children's room should be blue and also um, orange I think. So um, but yeah the butler's bedroom does stand out in that way but I don't think it's like less quality or anything like that. So you could have anyone living in there if you want to. I've said that three times throughout this voiceover. <laughs> Anyways I have tired brain today because I was up building all night <laughs> so sorry about that but I really just wanted this house done for you guys so and also still kind of put a lot of effort into it like I didn't want to just rush it so I spent a lot of time on this yesterday and did not get a lot of sleep. Like I said at the start of the video, you had been warned. So anyways, um, the bathroom that I showed you guys just before is the only bathroom that I included in this video, by the way. The other bathrooms look a lot like that one. I'm using the same items, the same color scheme as well. I do want to point out that I turned the shower the wrong way, but don't worry, it will be fixed for the uploaded version. So yeah, just don't worry about that at all. It should work perfectly fine. But up here we got the parents' bedroom and it's a little bit secluded from the rest of the bedrooms in this house because it is on the third floor. They have an awesome view from up here and I know the Sims don't care about that, but I do when I build. <laughs> so um, they have basically a panoramic view up here. I hope that's pronounced right. But they can see to the sunset here from the bed. Actually, if they're lying on it, you can kind of like look over the ocean and there are some palm trees. There are some mountains in the background as well, possibly the volcano. I'm not fully sure about that because the volcano is actually not in this area. It's in another area. It's in the smallest area that's called something with P. I don't fully remember. And we're building in Lani St. Taz today. So we're building in the biggest area in the world, I think. I don't fully remember. It's a new world. I did a world overview and I still don't remember, but at some point it'll be you know like I've never not known basically so we're just finishing up the house now by adding some furniture here to the exterior again just adding some lounge chairs that are freaking awesome I'm so happy we got lounge chairs and also a little bit of a lounge area up here by the bar the bar is from spa day by the way in case you were curious I just felt like it would fit the vibe of the house because it's kind of like a contemporary 
bar and the bar that we got with Island Living is a tiki bar so I didn't really feel like that would fit in to this kind of interior or this kind of vibe that we're going for so I decided to go for that one instead. I did add a dining area up here as well however they don't actually have a barbecue or a grill but you can definitely add that if you want to. I just I don't know I didn't really know where to put it even though there are plenty of places to put it I just didn't really feel like it fit in anywhere so I decided to just keep it out for this time or for this build. I also added a painter's area just for fun on one of the other sides of the terrace because I had some free space and I figured they didn't actually need another lounge area considering they already have like all these different areas inside and also like three areas outside so I decided to put some easels over there and yeah that was the camera that I was talking about earlier in the video by the way so it's a pretty big camera the lens on it is huge it's a very long lens but I think it looks pretty cool it has this sort of like camouflage pattern on it and I can't wait for my sim to actually use it. I kind of want to see what it looks like in action so I may play test that later on today and other than that we're basically just about done. I added some palm trees here at the front of the house. I kept the landscaping very minimal because there's not a lot of landscaping around this lot at all. It's basically on this kind of like tip of a of an island so there's not a lot of plants out here so I didn't really want to go crazy on the landscaping for this one but hopefully you guys like it anyways if you do like this build you can download it off the gallery on Friday and not today because I don't want to upload the build when the pack isn't accessible to everyone so on Friday when everyone has a chance to get their hands on it I'll upload this build to the gallery so you'll be able to find it under my ID which is EvelynYT or under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT and as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did and I will see you all in the next one bye bye